Hey guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench. And this evening, uh, we're at it again and we're going to dive into working on another spin fisher, another second generation spin fisher. So we're looking at an 850 SS, okay, the skirted spool. Uh, this is the big boy of that series. Okay, uh, this reel, obviously, it's been heavily fished, okay, it was spooled up with lime, we took all that off, you can see there's a little bit of, of uh, salt, uh, you know, re residual salt and some, you know, build up right there, uh, you know, of course, down here at the, at the reel uh, seat as well, there's a little bit of corrosion, things like that, you know, the reel does function, okay, it's, uh, it's a little on the rough side, this has the manual a slam, you know, bail spike here, if you will. All right. But it, you know, it's missing a emblem here on this side. Uh, so the goal here is to take the reel apart and we're going to, uh, see, uh, what parts may or may not need to be replaced. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take it from there basically. All right. So we're going to start with taking the handle off here and we're going to go from there. I've got this 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 washer here just popped out and this is basically to prevent that salt spray from getting in on this ball bearing right here okay that's that's what that felt washer is meant for I'll take our spool off I'm kind of guessing more than likely, we're probably going to have to replace this drag stack. We're going to start with that, actually. We're going to have a quick look, and we're going to see what kind of shape this is in. I'm hoping to make a Mystic Parts order, actually, pretty soon, and, and hoping to save on the shipping costs, uh, just because shipping is so very expensive these days. And so it helps when you can get a bunch of parts listed, you know, that you need, you know, like in this case, you know, this washer here, you know, it's pretty rusted, you know. We're going to see if we can clean it up. We might be able to. The other side is fine, okay, but we ultimately want to see what kind of shape these washers are in, and they might need to be replaced. To my surprise, they're not in terrible shape, but they could be replaced. But down here, we've got a bigger problem. We've got some major salt buildup and, and stuff in here. That's, that's actually quite bad. Um, you know, so we want to eliminate that the best that we can. We're going to hit this probably with a little bit of WD-40 just to loosen that up. And we're going to let it sit for a while. Let that sink in. But it's a safe assumption. We probably want to replace this drag stack, especially now that we're soaking it in some WD-40. I'm just going to put that in here for right now. Another thing we want to look at is underneath here. This, uh, it looks like this... This fork here is seized, it would appear. And so we're going to hit that with a little bit of WD-40 as well and let that do its magic right there. Okay. So, you know, this is what happens, you know, uh, when you're using saltwater gear. You know, it gets it, it gets in, into the elements or the elements get into it, so to speak. Okay. You can see there's evidence of it right here as well. Okay. But we're going to get these three screws out next. And again, you know, the reel does function, but if you're intending to use the reel, you know, that's a whole nother issue of going through all these parts, going through the cleaning steps, making sure that it's being properly cleaned and maintained. The screw here is very difficult to turn. So this is where we're going to take the WD-40 to these parts here, and we're going to let that penetrating oil kind of do its magic. I say this in a lot of videos, when it comes to penetrating oils, give it some time, okay? Don't try to force anything too much. Like if it starts to turn freely like this one's doing, that's okay. This one that's really, really, you know, tight, try to give it some time, at least give it a couple of minutes to do its job. Okay. So we're just going to keep these parts trays nearby and we're going to get all these parts out. And this could end up being a reel where, you know, we take it all apart and then, you know, we got to hunt down some other parts for it. And I'm just going to end up throwing it in a bigger parts bin uh, kind of as a whole, basically, and put it off to the side until I get those parts. And I do that a lot uh, just because sometimes it's necessary to continue, uh, you know, working on other uh, reels, basically. 
Okay, so this is starting to free up now. But yeah, when that salt spray gets in there, it's uh, it, it's it's going to wreak havoc on the parts. So good real maintenance is key, you know, when you're dealing with that kind of stuff. Okay. Now sometimes these side plates have a reputation of sticking on there for a while, or the bearing gets stuck. So I just took that razor knife, that thin razor knife, to try to get in there and get a little bit of, of leverage in there. You want to use caution doing this, but you can sometimes take a, a flathead screwdriver. You don't want to be rough with it, okay, because you don't want to damage this housing, this aluminum housing. But sometimes you can get a little bit of leverage that way. Okay. This is starting to free up a little bit, but not as much as I would like. So we're also going to hit a little WD-40 here. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes. We're going to pause the video. We'll come back in a minute once that's had a chance to sink in. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, and we finally got this plate off here. And then bearing pops right out real nicely. All right, so we've got a nice big bearing right here. All right, this feels really, really smooth, actually. It's got some old residual grease on here, nothing unusual of these reels. We're going to clean all this up here. Okay, and you can see we've got a seal here on the bottom of this bearing, and then it's got this uh, shield on top. And I can't quite tell if this is the kind of shield that comes off or not. I don't believe it does, but that's okay. It'll clean up fine. Okay, so we're looking at our innards here now. All right, so what we want to do is we want to gently spin this around and get that that base. We want to get the crosswind block all the way down here at the base so that we can pull these two screws out next, and then we can take our main drive shaft out. And while we were waiting, I did manage to get some more of the drag stack out and... I'm just kind of having a look at those washers. I think we're probably just going to replace the whole kit. There's still one washer that's stuck at the base. And from what I can tell, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I, I, think there's, I think there's one more metal washer and one more uh, uh, carbon fiber washer at the base there. And it's kind of fused at the bottom. So we're probably going to just replace all the washers. Just do a whole new drag kit. It's probably the best way to go. Okay, so we've got our 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 main drive shaft, and you can see there's a little bit of discoloration and some corrosion there. You know, we're going to clean all these parts up here. And you should be able to get your main gear out at this point. However, it could be stuck on here. So what we're going to do? Yeah, it's stuck to the other bearing here. All right, so we need to get this other cap off first. And what I usually do here is I'll take a pair of pliers, a pair of needle nose, or in, actually in this case, we're probably going to use a different pair of pliers because that's a pretty big, uh, big cover. Okay, so something like these perhaps. And then just place a towel over that so that you don't scar that brass. Okay, because that's real easy to do, and you don't want to do that. Loosen it up like so. Take this cap off. Okay, so yeah, this is what we're talking about here. So, you know, there is some sign of some rust and, you know, some really, really um, old uh, grease there, but uh, there's actually a screw here, okay? And that is definitely a reason why... Uh, the the main gear is not coming out, I believe. So we're going to see if we can't get that out. Might need to hit this up with some penetrating oil too. I think I'm just going to do that by default. I think we're going to let that sink. We'll pause again and we'll come back. Okay, so we're back now and we finally got some some penetration here on this uh, screw. I actually had to resort to spraying it down with a little bit of PB Blaster uh, penetrating oil, uh, quite a bit stronger than WD-40 actually. 
good stuff. It, it is effective and it works. Okay, but you got to get this screw out in order to pull out the rest of these parts here. Okay, so you've got that screw there. Okay, and then you got this bearing. We've got the main gear. We're going to see if it'll come out now. And it's still, still kind of hung up on the on the bearing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to see. Now you can see the bearing, you know how it's just kind of stuck to that. And this is this is what happens. Okay. So again, we're going to take some more PB blaster here, and we're going to let that work its way in here. Just kind of see it sink in slowly. Problem is, is trying to find leverage. There we go. All right. PB Blaster, good stuff. Okay. So we'll put that off to the side, and then we got our crosswind block here. Okay, it's pretty dirty. We're going to clean up all these parts, of course. And then we're going to take the crosswind gear out. I can't tell if that's held in with a screw or not. I don't think it is. Okay. There's that, and here's our other bearing. Okay, we're going to clean these bearings up. Looks like they're the same size. Okay, and then we've got a nut up here that has to come off. I think that's a half inch. Yeah. I'm gonna pull that off next. And pull our rotor off. Yeah, you know, you can see, you know, we've got some salt damage in here. You know, we're going to clean all that up really well. Okay, we're basically going to hose down a bunch of these parts here, you know, with some WD-40. Try to break up any of that corrosion that we can. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, these working parts here, all right? So we've got an anti-reverse uh, ratchet and friction clutch. Okay, these pieces can be kind of tedious to work with sometimes, all right? So you kind of want to use caution, uh, you know, when you're getting into this stuff here, okay? But that's the way it works, where this lever is moved, okay? And then it engages the, the dog and the friction clutch to the ratchet, okay? And so that's just one thing that you want to note. And in this case, there's actually two uh, ratchets here. There's, there's this lever here as well. Okay, and this is spring-driven on this one here. And it's a little, uh, it's a little different. They call this a, a, silent, uh, a silent dog, if I recall correctly. Okay, so... What we want to do next here is we need to get this uh, brass screw out here to take that part out. And you want to have the appropriate screwdrivers when you're doing this stuff because this is brass that we're talking about and brass is a very soft metal. Okay, so you want to have the assortment of screwdrivers nearby when you're, when you're working with a lot of these parts here. Okay, so there's there's the friction clutch dog. Okay, and then we've got the the ratchet right here. And then there's a collar, and you want to make note of the orientation of all these parts, okay? When you're working on the reel. Okay, now this dog here in particular, I don't believe you really need to take this apart, but you do want to clean it a little bit, all right? And then this plate 
of course, needs to come out because that's holding down our final bearing, our main bearing. So what's key here is cleaning and replacing any parts that need replacement. And then also knowing where to lubricate parts when you go to put it back together. And there are actually some parts uh, like this friction clutch. They're really not designed to go back lubricated. They're meant to go back kind of dry, so to speak, hence friction. So that's another thing to make note of. Okay, so we've got that plate that comes off. Bearing came out real nice with the pinion shaft and the gear. Okay, make note. I thought I saw a thin washer down here, but I guess I'm wrong. So you've got these parts here, all right, and we're going to clean all that up. We're going to clean all this up here really well, okay, and we're essentially just going to take the, you know, the WD-40, you know, to all these parts here, essentially, I'm really going to just take this container here, pop that in there, and we're just going to hose all this down with the WD-40, and we're going to clean it up. And then also another note is there are some screws, some hidden screws here. Okay, as well as here. All right, and you want to make sure that you hit those up uh, with a little bit of penetrating oil. Okay, and make sure that they get accounted for. And also under here. That one's really bad, actually. All right, so we're going to let that soak in. Like so. Put that off to the side. I'm probably going to end up letting that sit overnight, more than likely. And then... Last but not least, we're just going to kind of go through here with a little bit of penetrating oil, okay, and as well as the pinion gear and whatnot. Now these bearings, I've got a special little cap here for these bearings, and I'm just going to soak all of these in here, basically, okay. That's going to take care of those. And then here, real quickly, we're just going to have another look and see if we can't uh, get these other washers pried out of here. And I'm probably going to have to spend some time with this, all right? But we've got a couple of stuck washers down there, so we're probably going to hit that up with some uh, PV blaster as well. All right, so we're going to take that right now, and we're going to let that work its way in there. Okay, and also as well as under here as well with this with this fork, which seems to be completely seized up. So we're going to back out this screw here if we can. Saw so it loosen up there. I think. We're going to have to see what's going on with that. Okay, so right now it's just a waiting game and uh, letting this penetrating oil work its magic on these parts. And uh, we're going to take notes on uh, any parts that might need uh, replacement or uh, just, you know, some reviving, so to speak. All right, we're just going to get a little more of this WD on, on some of these other parts here. And uh, we'll come back in the next video uh, ready to do some reassembly. So thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification button. That way it'll give you all the updates as to when there are new videos being posted. And there should be quite a few more coming out shortly. So make sure you stay tuned for those and we'll see you next time.